Hello, welcome viewers. Let's unlock the knowledge of financial professionals. So this video is on the net present value. I have a net present value calculator and this is the calculation I'm doing the initial investments discount rates in 10% and the cash flow. So if you want, you can see the easily you can have a calculator and you can manage this. And if you want, you can add the calculator and you can do the net full. So now I want the formula for this is the cash flow, the discounted rate and the time period. So if you are not good in that, but you can just do a calculate here and you will get the answer. So the net present value for this project is 555.06. So this video is on, going to be covering on the same aspects. So this is the present value plus the present value and the total of the present value is called the net present value. So please do refer to my previous videos on this present value. Now let's go and start the project. And I'm going to cover you on one more important aspect. And you know, if you have seen this, this is a project and uh, this is from PM Tycoon. I have seen the video. So I would like you to go and check this in the discounted opportunity cast of capital for 8%. So I'll be solving this problem also. So let's start. So this is my initial investment as i showed you here i'll be covering the same thing so you can see this is the cash flows so let's add the cash flows which is like 350 bucks first year 500 second year 650 400 and 100 bucks you can see the 100 bucks is the investments and after the 100 you can get to 2000 dollar but you want to check the viability of the project so this is in the current year so what is going to be the value of the money you invested in after five years so just we have to check that so we have a simple formula for that so the formula is like you can check the initial investment divided by open parenthesis the formula is you showed you one plus One, one plus the discounted cash so I'm going to lock this close the parenthesis and the power of years so shift 6 and this is the first so any anyway, you don't have the answer so this is the formula so the formula which was taken from here so this is the formula so so now let me drag this down and you got the answer so this if you take the total of all the years cumulative years it is going to be this is going to be the answer so this is the answer is correct now if you want to do this formula in excel also you can do that you have a formula for that it is called the present value present value the discounted cash flow rate is the same so we'll let's log this and the npr is going to be the investment oh, sorry the uh, the year npr we have to release black for pmt and the finance investment and let's close the parenthesis so this is the So you have to make a minus in this before this. So you do this and then you try to do this. So you got the answer. So the total cumulative, and this is a difference. I don't want to show the formula for this. It's a simple formula. Now this is what actually is the structure of present value and net present value is the total of the present values. So I am going to show you again with the direct formula instead of doing all those stuff. You can have a direct formula and this is the investment so the investment which is done here is the same thing so the formula for this is going to be like the investment plus npv so investment plus npv open parenthesis the discount and cash flow and i'm going to put a comma and the total values 
So the total values will be from all this. So this is our investment. So you can see the answer. So this is how you can get the things done. This is the formula has been sorted out. Now if you want you can also get an IRR. So if the IRR the formula will be just you have to check the IRR, open the parenthesis and you have to check all the things from the top to the end. So you can see the IRR. IRR is 3.15986. So this is the error. So when you put the IRR in the discounted cash flow, your NPV should become zero. So if you want to see, you can copy this control C, you can paste it and the value. Now you can see this is now see you can see the net present value has become zero. So I'm going to show you the form the next uh, sum and I'm going to show you the profitability index. So how to calculate the profitability index. So the profitability index is cash inflow divided by cash outflow. So the cash inflow is like we have to check the sum. It is not on the returns but it's actually on the present value. So I will be taking this all the present values, sum of all the present values and I am going to divide it by the cash outflow. This is my initial investment. But okay, so before we have to check this, I will be we have to take this into divided by not a negative figure but a positive figure. So you can see that this is financially viable. Now let's do the sum, and uh, the sum was the present present value. So it was like seventy. The initial investment four hundred thousand seventy one twenty one forty one forty and forty. And the capital opportunity cost what is was eight percent. So let's change this into eight percent is the opportunity cost, and my investment was four hundred thousand. So it will be like minus four hundred thousand and seventy k, one hundred and twenty k, one hundred and forty. Again, 140, and it was 40. When you check the discounted cash flow, it is giving you 8.59, and the pro the for viability of the product should the profitability index should be greater than one. So this is greater than one. So this is initial in investor of returns. So let's check the answer. So this is the net present value, and then. So after the positive cash flows and outflows, the answer is 8959. So it's 8959. And after that, he has changed the scenario. If the opportunity cost of capital is 15%, should we accept or reject the project? So here's the calculation. So this is what the calculation was done in this step. And now we'll be making it to 15%. So just we have to do is 15%. So you can see it is giving a negative cash flow. And the profitability index is also below one, is less than one. So we should reject this project. If your discounted cash flow or expectation is 15%. So you can see minus 56408. So this project should be rejected. So this is what I was trying to explain in this video, and this has to be communicated so uh, 
I will be making another video series of video on average rate of returns and uh, we have covered three important aspects net present value internal rate of uh, returns and uh, profitability index that is cash flow inflow divided by the cash outflow and after this i will be writing uh, making a video on average rate of returns and then i will be showing you how to do a pb so this is a break even analysis uh, profitability uh, so we can check the payback period on investments so i hope you found this video useful and you understood the logic behind this so let's meet in the next video and try to resolve more financial knowledge and understand it in a better way instead of just by hurting the formulas so hope to see you in the next video please share this video please subscribe to my channel please hit the bell icon and please give your comments on the net present value was it easy to understand or not